Before you say I love you, take a moment. Breathe. Ask yourself if your heart truly aligns with your words. Let's honor the depth and beauty of love by ensuring our words are a true reflection of our feelings. The untruths of love. Confessions of empty affections. Imagine standing under the blanket of stars, the cool night air brushing against your skin. You're with someone special, their eyes gleaming with anticipation. Silence stretches between you, a canvas waiting to be painted with words. Suddenly the moment arrives. You look into their eyes and utter the phrase that's supposed to mean the world, I love you. But something within you stirs uneasily. It feels like wearing an ill-fitting garment, uncomfortable and foreign. This isn't about the thrill of new love or the warmth of genuine affection. It's about the words we say and the reasons behind them. Sometimes, I love you slips out not from the heart, but from a place of expectation or desire to please. The weight of these three words is immense, carrying with them the promise of depth, commitment and understanding. But what happens when these words are said without truly meaning them? It's like offering someone a beautifully wrapped empty box. We might say I love you out of fear of losing someone, fear of being alone, or even out of a misguided attempt to protect the other's feelings. Each scenario leaves a trail of confusion and hurt, a mismatch between words and intentions. It's crucial to understand why. Is it a fear of intimacy, a lack of understanding of one's own feelings, or simply the pressure of societal norms dictating when and how love should be expressed. The reasons are as varied as the individuals who experience them. Recognizing the dissonance between what we say and what we feel is the first step toward authenticity. It's about peeling back the layers of expectation and getting to the heart of our true emotions and desires. The impact on relationships can be profound. Trust can be eroded and the sincerity of future expressions of love can be questioned. The foundation of any relationship is built on honesty and trust, and once these are compromised, it's a steep hill to climb back up. Yet there is a path forward. It involves open, honest communication and a willingness to be vulnerable. Admitting to ourselves and to others that we've used these words carelessly can be a powerful step toward healing and understanding. Moving forward, it's about aligning our words with our true feelings. Saying I love you should be a reflection of our deepest feelings, a sacred expression not to be taken lightly. We also need to forgive ourselves for past insincerities. We're all capable of growth and change, and understanding our past actions is a part of that process. Learning to express our feelings accurately and appropriately is an ongoing journey. It's about finding the courage to be honest, not only with others, but with ourselves. As we navigate the complexities of human emotions and relationships, let's strive for authenticity in our expressions of love. After all, genuine love is not just about the words we say, but the actions and intentions behind them.